Not your bag, Jason? As the sign said, we are in San Francisco. We left out of Denver this afternoon, traveling today with Bob and Jason on our way to a special destination that hopefully is gonna line up to a photo that, uh, when I say bucket list item, this one probably tops them all. Um, this is an event that only takes place once a year and uh, for a couple days out of the year, and we are en route to photograph it. Hopefully it turns out the way that we want it to.
Well, this morning we made it to our destination, which is the iconic Yosemite National Park. And we are here for the phenomenon known as Firefall. And later this evening, as the sun gets ready to set, it's going to backlight the Horsetail Falls coming off of El Capitan there and, and give it the old look of the, what used to be the Firefall that was done by throwing embers off the top of the mountain and making it look like a, a Firefall. They don't do that anymore. Uh, it was banned by the Park Service, but every February for about two weeks this phenomenon occurs and we've flown out here in order to have the opportunity to try to capture that in a photo. Um, conditions look like it could be good. Today is uh, considered to be the peak of the firefall, so our plan to get out here on this day uh, came to fruition and, and we hope that it turns out to be a good photo, but we'll be watching the skies to see whether or not any clouds are going to start moving in and, and perhaps obscure the, the light from hitting that waterfall and creating the firefall effect. So. In the meantime, we're going to spend a little bit of time this after, this morning and this afternoon uh, shooting a couple photos from different locations here throughout Yosemite. And then uh, we're going to leave early to get to our desired location, get set up. There are thousands of people out here, thousands of photographers that are out here in order to try to photograph this, especially today on the peak. And getting a pass to get in here was difficult enough uh, with the reservation system that the park has implemented. But we were fortunate enough to get a pass. We're here to do it. Let's hope it turns out.
Well, we're here at the base of El Capitan, waiting for Horsetail Falls to light up with the setting sun. You can see there's quite a few people in the area that have all come to watch and photograph this event. You can see by the crowds of people, this is a very popular event. When you consider the fact that they limited the amount of people that were allowed inside the park today, really impressive to see this many people here for a glimpse of the firefall. So this may be a little bit obsessive today. Right now I've got my A7R3 with my 70 to 200 mounted for a close up shot of El Capitan and the firefall. I also have my A7R4 with my 24 to 105 mounted. On top of that is my GoPro Hero 9 ready to do a time lapse of the sunset and the firefall. And then I also have my GoPro Max 360 degree camera ready to do a time lapse as well of the firefall. The GoPro Max is mounted to my new monopod, to an iFootage Cobra 2, same company that makes my main tripod. And I'll tell you, if you were in the market for a monopod, you would be hard pressed to find one better than this. You can see it's standing on its own, and that's possible because it came with an included little mini tripod down there that's holding it upright. I also have an extension coming, so I'll be able to actually elevate this even higher on my next photo shoot. Well, the anticipation is building as we get closer and closer to the sunset. Everywhere around you can hear the shutters of cameras firing off in succession as people begin taking their photos and making sure that their composition is what they want for this awesome event. Dude, so I expected crowds. I'm not so sure this is the crowds that I expected. I've been to Maroon Barrels, you know, Tripods over tripods, I get it. This ain't this ain't quite quite what I expected. Me and my closest two thousand strangers. Yeah. So uh, regardless, my ten percent showed up and uh, got a, a lot of mist up there. A few minutes to go, fix and do this. Let's go. Um, I gotta tell you, this has been a spectacular trip. Hopefully the f falls will come turn to fire and everybody will be happy and go home. Thanks. At 17 after, we should start seeing some color on the waterfall up there, probably around 520 or so. <laughs> uh, I think uh, about 525 to 541 is supposed to be the peak time for it. And today being February 21st is the peak day for the firefall this year. So we're really hoping for some good conditions. There's some light clouds up above the uh, El Capitan there that I think are going to pick up some color from the setting sun. And this really has the makings of a beautiful photo and just hope it really turns out like that. We are still a couple minutes away from when this is actually supposed to take place, but it, right now it is just breathtaking. The light that is just shining up there on the Horsetail Falls is just amazing. And, and, and it's only going to get better. It is only going to get better. And, and wow, you can just see the way the falls are just glowing up there and the, the mist from the water as it comes over the crest there and starts falling down to the base. Absolutely amazing. Well, that was uh, just an amazing sight to behold. Um, 
far exceeded any expectation that I ever would have had of coming and seeing this. Uh, the sunset did not disappoint. It cast the beautiful color there and, and really did just look like, uh, like lava flowing down the side of El Capitan there. And, and uh, man, <laughs> just, just, uh, just so blessed to be out here and, and, and see this in person. And uh, if you haven't had a chance to come out here to Yosemite in the middle to late of February and watch the fire fall, then uh, start planning that in, in, in your lifetime to do so because uh, it's something that you really have to see in person and truly uh, put eyes on it to, to really understand the magnitude of just how beautiful it is. Uh, this video is not going to do justice for just how awesome of an experience that was to watch that. And uh, man. <laughs> Wow. Incredible, you know, other than having a mass amount of people, the natural beauty of what the sun, rock, and water does was spectacular. And I would do it again in a heartbeat, thanks. It was terrible. Don't go. <laughs> okay, just kidding, just kidding. Um, it was actually spectacular. It was more than I expected. I, you know, you see things in pictures and you think you know what it's gonna look like. You don't. Um, it, was, it was awesome. Uh, and really looking forward to next year. I'll be one of the idiots uh, piled up there again, probably uh, hoping to get that spectacular shot that I'm, I have in my mind. So uh, yeah, looking forward to that. These two guys I've been with, I met on Facebook and uh, we just have a kindrance for photography. And they asked me to come to, to Yosemite and uh, San Francisco. And I gotta tell you, I had so much fun. Had my own room, it was great and uh, had like two or three hours of sleep. I haven't done that in years. And I saw a sunrise two out of the last three days. Thanks, bye-bye. So overall, um, I tell you what, us three, especially me and Ben, um, we've got it down pat. We can cram a whole lot into a couple of hours. And uh, this trip was no different. Um, Jam-packed, one thing to the next, no rest. All the rest is on the airplane or um, the couple of hours between um, uh, letting your head hit the pillow and sunrise, which is usually very few hours. Um, but I, I wouldn't change a thing. This is how I like it. So, best part of the trip for me, um, it had to have been walking two miles with 2,000 of my closest strangers uh, to see Firefall. I'm just kidding. Um, that was not the best thing at all. Uh, the best thing was, was seeing Firefall, no doubt. Um, there was a little bit of a moment of concern when we got there because you couldn't really see that the water was flowing. We had seen it earlier that morning and it was flowing really good. And then the evening came and it didn't look like it was flowing at all. So there was some moments of, uh, is this gonna happen? D did we miss it kind of thing? Because we had heard the previous day was amazing. And it would probably be my luck that you know, I'd go and it'd be dry. But no, uh, it was flowing, the wind was blowing, the mist uh, really took that light well, and uh, man, uh, it's really left a, a, a desire for me to go back and, and just do it again, I don't know. It's like one of those things where I'd like to check it off my list. Um, I don't know if I ever will. <laughs>
Well, we're back at the Denver airport and that concludes another great trip. Really want to thank Bob and Jason for joining me on this one. It was uh, truly phenomenal to be able to go out there and witness the firefall like that and uh, spend some time in the Bay Area shooting some photos this morning. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't done so already, subscribe. And of course, ring that bell so you're notified when I upload the video from the next trip. Don't know where that is yet, but I'm sure it's going to be just as good as the last one. We'll see you then.